Hello my friends and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be walking you through how you can upgrade to NixOS 23.11. We're going to use my NixOS WSL starter as, uh, as a little bit of a template again, right? So this template targeted version 23.05 and a couple of videos ago we made a change where we started pulling in LunaVim from Nix packages instead of installing it with a curl bash script. And I said that I would not merge this into master until we had upgraded to release 23.11. Well, that release came out on Wednesday. Today, the day that I'm recording this is Thursday. So it has been out for a day. Everything is looking pretty good. I have upgraded my own personal systems as well so I feel uh, more than happy more than confident to walk you through this upgrade so upgrades are super super duper easy so you go into your flake.nix and in your flake.nix you're gonna have this inputs.nixpackages.url so why don't we get Nix packages up here? Nix packages is a GitHub repository. And like many repositories, it has branches and tags. And as you can see, yesterday, the tag 23.11 was released. So, um, I think there was also a branch, NixOS 23.11. And you know, whenever there are any fixes or anything that need to be ported, they'll come into here. So you can either do this on the branch or you can do it on the um, you can do it on the tag. Most people do it on the branch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this 05 to 11. Uh, unstable is gonna remain unstable. So previously unstable referred to what has now become 23.11. But now NixOS unstable refers to the next release, which I believe will be 24.05. Pretty cool, pretty cool how that works. So in the context of the starters, uh, the starter templates that I have made videos about and released on GitHub, there is one more update that we need to make and that is for Home Manager. So we're gonna update that to 23.11 as well. And it may surprise you, that is actually all that you have to do. So now, why don't we do a, we'll do a rebuild. Um, I should, uh, what, rebuild? No, how do I share with you all what rebuild does? Which rebuild? There we go, so rebuild. Uh, on my Z shell RC is alias to sudo nixos rebuild switch flake configuration. So that is where my configuration lives. But actually, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting myself a little bit confused. My nixsl VM is already running on the latest version of nixos. What we want to do, what we want to do is we want to update to. 23.11 on a virtual machine that is running this NixOS WSL starter. So let me do a Nix Lake update commit lock file. And so this is going to get all of the, the latest and greatest. So it updated Home Manager. NixOS WSL also has an update. Nix packages has an update, Nix packages unstable has an update, and the Nix user repository registry that also has an update. So we got all of those. I am going to add these in here as well. I'll just do an amend. So we're going to push this and then we are going to open up. Um, I'm going to have to do WSL list. Uh, I believe I called it NixOS, so we'll do 
WSL, I think it's minus D, Nix OS. Is that right? I don't know. I usually just open from, uh, from the terminal software that I use, but it seems like that was the correct, uh, the correct command. WSL minus D, and then the name of your virtual machine. So I believe this was cloned into temp configuration. So let's go ahead and pull those latest changes. Um, why don't we do get? Because I was playing around on this in the last video as well. Um, get pull rebase. Uh, stash changes. Um, that's not going so well. All right, because uh, I don't have any of my credentials or anything on that, right? So I'm gonna reclone this now. RMRF temp configuration, git clone uh, this to temp configuration. CD temp configuration. And we're going to do GCO feature Luna Vim from Nix. Excellent. And just to check, uh, Friday. Oh my God, it's Friday already? No, it can't be Friday. I think the time is probably messed up on. It might be a Windows Linux time sync thing. I need to look into that. What the frick? Um, is it date? Oh my god, my VM time is so off. That is not the date at all. Oh my god, my no, that's that's still sorry. That's also still in um in the virtual machine on PowerShell. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, scoop install date. Maybe that maybe scoop will help. Anyway, getting sidetracked. We have the latest commit which is all I wanted. And so now we can apply that commit with sudo nixos rebuild switch flake temp configuration, which is the location of our flake. And actually, since we're already in here, we can just do this. We can just do dot. So now the updates are gonna take place. Uh, Scoop could not find manifest for date. Damn, that's crazy. So I have a, a separate NixOS bug that I need to figure out. Why, why is it not inheriting the time from my Windows machine? Very interesting, very sus. Keep an eye out for a separate video on that once I figure it out. But anyway, we are now pulling in uh, all of the new stuff, all of the new stuff from 23.0. 11 there is currently this warning that you'll see this stems from uh, the home manager input it is generating its documentation i guess with options docbook which became deprecated in the 23.11 release so they have between the 23.11 release and the 24.05 release to deal with that but I believe I did see a pull request for this. Um, options doc book. Uh, this one maybe. Yeah. So I think this is gonna get um, merged pretty soon. So I don't know. Maybe by the time the, this video is live and you're doing this, you won't see these warnings. But anyway, we have now upgraded. We are now officially, officially on Nix OS 23.11. And you name A? Uh, actually, I don't know how to, how would you check on the terminal? How to check on the terminal, which version of Nix OS I am using. Oh, <laughs> NixOS version. There we go. So we are on 
Uh, and the code name for this release is Tapir. Cool name. Uh, what is a Tapir? It is an animal. Very cool. Very interesting looking animal. Is a Tapir an anteater? No, the Tapir is a primitive animal that has remained unchanged for millions of years. Who knew? Who knew? Very cool. Today, I learned. So that is pretty much all that you need to do to upgrade from NixOS 23.05 to 23.11. You update your Nix packages URL to point to 23.11, NixOS-23.11, Nix and if you're using Home Manager, which if you're using any of my starter templates, you most likely are. Uh, make sure to bump this to release-23.11 as well. All right, my friends, I think that is everything. That is everything for today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, I will prepare the commit for this. And yeah, you can follow along with this video if you would like. Um, and you know, if you are uh, one of the people who has forked from this repository, you can also just pull in my upstream changes. I believe there are not many changes. There's just the LunaVim changes and the NixOS release changes. That is it. As always, if you have any problems, any questions, anything like that, reach out to me in the comments. You can reach out to me on Mastodon. You can reach out to me on Twitter. I actually have now a link tree on my website, uh, linktree.gz.com. You can find me everywhere through here. And, and also, and also, I have a video on how I built this link tree website that just went live yesterday. Build your own link tree. Very, very cool. My friends, we are at 902 subscribers. We are so, so close to 1000. So if you are a new viewer, if you're watching this video, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you like tiling window managers and people who develop tiling window managers, that's me. I'm one of them. If you like NixOS tutorials, if you like Rust live development, other miscellaneous programming and Rust content too. Um, Go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it a lot and I can't wait for us to reach 1000. It's going to be so good. I'm going to apply to the YouTube partner program and life is going to be rosy. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, my friends. I hope that whatever you will do today, you have a great, great day. Free Palestine. And I'll see you all back here next time.